practice two months after I had my baby. <laughs> yes, two months after I had him, I went back to practice. And it was a full-on practice. It was more, you know, keeping up and getting back fit and taking my time because, of course, I had a C-section, so I can't go and lift any weights on my back and, you know, do anything that will cause me longer recovery. So my a typical day for me, get up for practice at 4.45. <laughs> and usually when I get up at 4 yes, yes, yes. I get up at 4.45. And usually when I get up at 4.45, <laughs> I'll breastfeed him. And then he goes back to sleep and I go to training and I get the training. And I'm always checking in a come out when the baby is late. Is that me? Are you sure? Yeah. Or I call, you know, Portia who's at home and I call, is my baby up? Oh, no, he's still sleeping. I get home, say around 7.38. And most times he's still sleeping or he's up, but he's not fussy, so he's just there. I love bathe him myself. So I want to bathe him and I want to wipe the rubbing down with his mustela. Yes. And put on his clothes and then I breastfeed him and then I walk him and I burp him and I put him down because he's going to sleep. And then I eat and then I go upstairs and I get a shower and I come back down and I don't sleep during the day and that's always been the case. And then I get back to training at one o'clock, I pump and I leave my milk and I get to training and sometimes I have to train like on a Monday I train up until six, I go back to practice and then I come back home and then I spend some time, some tummy time, I will play, I will talk. And I do some of my exercises with him. And then that's a routine basically. And anything else that I have to do, like go on the road, any appearances, I should carry him in the car with me. So it's my handbag. I don't lose him because I want to make sure that I'm able to breastfeed him. And I